Need to make a little update video on the rock crusher here. Uh, things were working really, really well, and then uh, the belt started smoking, and things started going a little uh, haywire on me. I uh, took off the belt cover, and looking in the belt to see how things were going, I realized that I had destroyed one of the pulleys. Uh, I think that looks like a heat fracture, circular fracture all the way around the pulley. Broke off the outside edge, and uh, yeah, not working so well now. So I realized that I'm trying to push for 8 horsepower through one little belt with uh, two cheap Chinese aluminum pulleys and they just can't cope. I know I had a hard time uh, tensioning it enough to make it work right and now obviously just overheating and forcing too much. So I'm going to change those two single aluminum pulleys out to double pulleys rather than A belt. We'll go to a B belt, double B belts and they will be steel pulleys uh, and do the proper proper shifts and everything so that uh, we can take that power through there. So I'm going to use a two to one reduction and so we keep the speed going the same. I'm also going to increase the size of them a little bit but still keep that two to one reduction. And see if we can get this thing so I can uh, maintain going for long periods of time with that kind of power going through belts. So once I start getting the other belts, or other pulleys and belts on, I'll take some more pictures and show you what it looks like after the fact. Well here I've got the uh, pulleys and belts put back on. Uh, you can see it's a double belt now. Double pulley, double belt going up. The B size belts rather than the A, so they're much, much more skookum attached on nicely. Now these are using a different type of pulley here where you actually have that tapered sleeve that goes inside and bolts on and, and attaches to the shaft. I don't know how hard they grab onto the shaft because I noticed as I finished, just as I was putting the belts on, the key fell out of that one. Obviously as I was sliding it on I didn't notice the key was pushing out and the little keyway there does not have a key in it. So I'm not sure if I need to go and take things apart and put the key in or if those things actually grab well enough to hold. I'm going to try it because I think, I think the idea of those is they grab on a round shaft pretty darn hard. And actually because I have to bolt this one on from the engine side, it's a bit of a pain to put in place and take off. So I'm going to try it without and see if it works fine. If I think it's slipping or I think, think there's a problem, I will go and put that key back in. Now my next job is to make sure that the belt cover will hold in place because uh, it's bigger pulleys and it's pretty tight on that belt cover so you go see if that belt cover will go in without, without rubbing anywhere. There we go. The update, the stronger belts. Well here we are, we got the belt uh, guard back on. That was more of a challenge than I expected it to be. Turns out there's only about a quarter inch uh, clearance on all sides of that big pulley. Uh, and the bolt holes that were there, screw holes that were there, did not leave a quarter inch clearance. So I had to make some new holes and fit it just right. I did test start it and uh, I was a little bit worried that the added tension of the double belts and the fact that I made it that much tighter would uh, make it hard to start. But no, it started up fairly well. Uh, so I think it's good to go. Without the uh, vacuum cleaner, there's a lot of dust that pours out of that port on the bucket. And when you turn it off, it comes out the top too. The wind's blowing back in my face. Well, there we go. Updated belt system on the rock crusher. Let's hope it lasts. Works well. Well guys, until the next time. <laughs>